A normal day in the world 25 PvP zone. Ooh, that's some juicy loot. Oh, fuck. The winner of the last AGS giveaway is Chris Feeman. If you want to go ahead and add me on Discord, I'll be leaving that in the description. If you want to enter this video's AGS giveaway, leave a like, subscribe and comment your favorite moment from this video with your RSN down below. Thank you. Yo, what is up everyone, Eric Sneer and in today's video I'm exposed everything you need to know about how to school trick and how to avoid getting school tricked in the PvP worlds. So there are two different school tricks that are mainly used in PvP worlds. It's a twin school trick and it's a third age ring one. So for the third age ring school trick, you need two accounts. You need a bait account. The purpose of the bait account is to lower their food and then eventually die. And then of course you have the killing account that you're gonna kill them on. So as you can see in this clip right here, I actually log in quite a while before I end up dying. and. Uh, this guy actually used some time before he hit me, as you can see. There's also a way for you to be able to one tick your teleblock, which I'll show you guys very soon. And uh, that's basically how you're able to get everyone without uh, them being able to teleport. Because uh, you'll uh, hit the teleport block in the same tick. So I ended up smiting this guy on the last hit, which was uh, very lucky, and I I got his uh, dragon claws. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you're able to one tick your tele block. So what you want to do is you want to click on your third age ring, you want to go to your spell book, press the tele block, and then you want to hit the 8 with your keyboard. And uh, as you can see now, in the top left corner, it says cast tele block. Can't really do it on the guard, but um, yeah, that's how you do it. So, how do you actually avoid this skull trick? Um, what you want to do, it's very simple. You want to go to your settings, go to controls, player attack options, and you want to put that to hidden. You don't want to have it on right click, because then there's another way you can get skull tricked. And that's with the team cape. Because if you're wearing a team cape, and your opponent logs in wearing a team cape as well, and you have it on always right click it's gonna change the right click option to a left click option because you're both wearing a team cape so you always want to have it on hidden always and basically if you do that you're never gonna get skull tricked so another thing you can do with this skull trick that i haven't really done too much is you can wear any third age item on your bait account that you're gonna die on you're gonna wear it and then you're gonna have your smite up before you die, you're gonna pretend like you're being smited, and then on your killing account, you're gonna log in wearing that item. So I'm wearing a third age full elm right now. So I'm gonna equip the full elm, and then they're gonna think that you actually got smited for the full elm. Right, so right here I'm doing the twin skull trick. This uh, skull trick is a bit more advanced, so you might wanna get help from a friend or uh, Whatever. I, I usually do it alone just because uh, like I'm so used to it now. So what I'm doing right now is I'm lowering the opponent's food because you don't want to log in your second account while they still have a full inventory of food. So you want to go ahead and freeze them when you feel like they're low enough. You're going to start flaming them and then you're going to log in your second account as you guys may have seen that I did there. And usually you're just going to wait for them to hit you back and see if they skull. If they skull, you just freeze them and you kill them. And then you'll uh, have all their items. I forgot to mention when you log into a world, you actually log in facing southwest. So if I go ahead and like turn this way and then I hop world, it's going to log me in facing southwest. And that's why this skull trick works so well. And uh, yeah. 
So this skull trick might be a bit hard to avoid. You can't just put it on hidden because you know you're all, like in the middle of a fight. But now that I've showed you, you will probably remember that like if somebody snares you and then like runs up here and like attacks you and starts flaming you, you'll know that like oh this is a skull trick. And I also forgot to mention that the way I did it was um, for melee. If you if the guy you're fighting or if the guy you're like trying to school trick is using range or mage, what you want to do is like you want to basically like trap him behind a tree. You want to like snare him in this spot. You're gonna run around here, you know, and then you're gonna do the swap account here. So yeah. So hopefully this video made some sense for you guys. I know a few of you have been asking me to like show in depth like how I actually do the school tricks. Um, I wish I had some more footage, but I've deleted most of my clips and uh, yeah. So if you want to start school tricking, like hopefully this video helped. And if you want to avoid getting school tricked, hopefully the video helped as well. So. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one. I know this was a bit short, but uh, I'll be back to posting other videos very soon. And if you have any suggestions on uh, videos I can make for the future, please leave that in the comment section as well. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.